it's at this time I would like to bring my white friend back up to the stage. Martin Amini, everybody. Yeah. Thanks, man. Guys, you guys having a good time so far? So we do this show Fridays and Saturdays, and because, you know, Matt's in town, we were like, fuck it, man, let's do a... We had a show at uh, 7 p.m. in Arlington tonight, and then we're like, why don't we do a 9.30 show in, in D.C., Absolutely. right? Absolutely, yeah, man. And thanks to you guys, we sold this one out, and it's, I was like, yo, man, when we do the 9.30 show, we got to be on some, like, chill vibe. We got to, like, do some speakeasy. And this is what I like, though. Arlington, if all have ever been in the Draft House, it's like a big-ass movie theater. Like, I, yeah. I prefer this style of comedy, where it's much more like, interactive. I can see all's faces for once, which is nice. It's kind of, it you know, was, it's a lot more interactive. I like it. Dude, it's more personal. He said, what happened? Said, what, what happened in Arlington? <laughs> well, no, well, no, 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 well. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Now, I don't even want to get into it. No, no, it's gonna give it energy. You know what no, I mean? Like, okay, well, I'll, I'll break it down like this. Like okay. comedy, like we were saying, it's an energy thing, right? And, and it's white like, women are like poltergeists. No, no. You know what I mean? Like no, no, if no, you no. give them energy, they feed. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but like it, 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 you gotta understand, like there's so many things that like goes behind the scenes of like what it makes it to work. Like even tonight. One girl, like I, don't, like, I don't know, like, people get too drunk, and you're like, I hope she's okay, but also please leave. Like, Bro, <laughs> she, y'all like, couldn't see it. Like, like Y'all didn't see it, but, but like, I'm on was, stage, and I'm like, yo, did someone just, like, pass out? <laughs> she was fully on the ground. Luckily for adult, she's okay. grown she, black men carried her into an alley where yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> she carried fine. her like this bitch was laundry. They, <laughs> <laughs> she was out, yo. Bro. Damn. Yeah. I'm going to need an attorney. I, I, I'm definitely getting sued. But uh, no, she's okay. She DM'd me already. She she's made it fine. Home. Yeah, yeah, she's fine. She's fine. She's fine. She's probably fine. Yeah, probably. But yeah, man. Um, but yeah, just the, the difference in, in those shows, because as, as, uh, as you were saying, like comedy is about, you know, timing and people listening and you guys people were, were very be... attentive and, yeah. and fun. So I mean, I, I appreciate it. I was going to say like one of the, uh, the cool things about what I have in DC is like I have a dope uh, local fan base that fuck with me. And a lot of the, the reasons is because of the stand up clips I've been putting out mm -hmm. uh, on Twitter and IG. And I've been telling Matt, because I've known Matt for a few years, like I've been like Matt's grown so much as a comedian the time I've known him every time he comes back to DC every like was like once a year he gets better and better I'm like bro you like you gotta put some stand-up clips online uh, I know man y'all follow Martin on Twitter is that how y'all knew about it yeah fuck with the clips I feel like because I feel like it's so cool when people come to shows because they fuck with your stand-up right if people like like they fuck with Matt because well, everybody in Arlington just want me to take my fucking shirt off yeah like I'm a piece <laughs> of meat and I would have done it too for like a hundred dollars but you know but I'm really like bro if jokes. you put out your stand up clips then people are gonna know like your comedy and I feel like yo your comedy is good like I was like yo we should shoot a special here dude like for Matt so Rife. much fun I fucking I love DC man I, I, this is this is literally my favorite city in the country I know y'all live here so y'all probably like whatever about now, it he, but I fucking he, he dead love. ass he's the type of dude to wake up and go to the muse museum by himself I'm going tomorrow. Oh, I've like, been to all the museums like six times. I'm gonna go. I think the only ones that I live here my whole life. I haven't been to one museum. <laughs> like, I've been dead ass. I'm like, yo, like a museum. You're like, what you about? You gotta go to a museum. Y'all spoiled, man. Y'all spoiled. <laughs> man, I'm from Ohio. We would have. We were hyped just to see a TV with no back on it. You know what I mean? Like that was our museum. I think the only ones that are open are the uh, the art museum and the African American history. I think they're all open. Oh, they all open now. They're all open. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, bet, bet. Dude, one time I'm nervous to go to the uh, the African American history. Tell them the story, <laughs> bro. It, Tell them the story. That shit. <laughs> I went to the African American um, history museum. This is probably it's like I think my first trip here from one of your shows. And this is when I had just finished doing Wild and Out on MTV, which. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, uh, yeah. You guys all have bad taste in television, mm -hmm. um, but like it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a black show. So I was walking through that. And I, I get like like Mara said, I'm just by myself and I'm fucking. Oh, yeah. well that happened. <laughs> Crazy. And uh, all these young black people, like all these all these kids primarily, kept running up to me to ask for pictures. The only white dude in the African American <laughs> History Museum. You can see all the old black people were so mad that these kids didn't give a fuck about Jackie Robinson's shoes <laughs> at all. <laughs> 
I was like, but did he rap though? <laughs> Jackie, it was so, I'm like, I'm trying to enjoy the exhibit. And they're just, yeah, it was, it put me in a very uncomfortable position. A bit powerful, but right. very, uh, very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. So I'm going to hit those again. I enjoy the museums. We're not going to be able to hit the White House this time. Nah, not this time. Not this time. That, did y'all, did y'all, did y'all, uh, did, have, we, have we told you the White House story yet? I don't think so. Did you, you mention that? it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, now, nah, okay. So, like, two was it two years ago you pulled up? Uh, this was la- uh, two years ago. It was two, two years, years ago, ago yeah. right? Uh, we had just like gotten to know each other, and he did a, we did a show together at the DC Improv. And um, the next morning, he's like, "Yo, man, I don't know if you got plans today, but uh, I actually got access to a VIP tour at the White House. Do you want to you want to come with me? You want to be my plus one?" <laughs> so I gotta like that. <laughs> And I was like, yo, I don't know if you know this, but like, I'm half Iranian. <laughs> I, I didn't that... know this at the time, yeah. by the way. Because he just found out I'm half Bolivian. He's like, yo, you Bolivian too? And then he was like... I still don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. That's going on the special, yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah. He's like, what is that? Who, where's Bolivia? Hey, man, we exactly. out here. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You don't fuck with llamas? Is that where they're okay. from? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, where, they're, they're... Where, where were you from again? Bangalore. Bangalore. That's not, nah, that's Is too that... different. That, that's... Right. Hey, man. Hey, the fuck, hey. son? Like y'all went to fucking geography school, okay? <laughs> y'all don't own a fucking globe. Shut up. Y'all don't know, all right? Nah, so he invites me, and I had to really think about it. Because like, yo, dead out, I lived here my whole life, never been to the White House. I'm like, yo, Barack didn't invite me. And Trump's a massive Wild Mouth fan, so <laughs> luckily. So I was like, yo, fuck it, you know? Let's see what let's see what happens. But I was hesitant, and, and I think Matt could feel my hesitation. And so he was like, yo, don't worry, I'm gonna wear my Colin Kaepernick jersey. I'm like, that doesn't make me feel any better. <laughs> That's just, you know what I mean? I'm Persian and you, the, the only white ally is going to be, you know what I mean? Triggering every security guard. All right, so I, I, uh, the appointment was for 9, 15 a.m. the following day. Um, I, at the time, I was staying in Gaithersburg, Maryland, and I woke up at like 8.30. <laughs> and I was like, fuck, 495 traffic. I was like, yo, man, I might be late. He's like, bro, please don't be late, man. This is like our only chance to like get this VIP access. I was like, fuck. All right, so I get in my little Camry and I drive down to the White House. And I was like running late down like Connecticut. So I was like, I was like, fuck it. Like instead of street parking, I'll just pull into the garage somewhere. Like one of those like, you know, little $20 joints. So I parked the car. It's like nine, nine, ten, And I'm like, fuck. I'm, he's I'm like, like, bro, Dude. hurry. Yeah, he's Come like, on, bro, man. where are you? Where are you? And I'm like, I was such in a rush. I couldn't shave. Right? <laughs> so I got my full beard and shit. And I'm running like down uh, Pennsylvania Avenue. Like, I'm late to see the White House. I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just staring at me, running frantically, and I'm sweating. They're like, yo, the security's like, yo, is, is there a problem, sir? You're sweating profusely. <laughs> and I was like, no, 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 I'm, I'm here to see, you know, I got, I got, a, I got a VIP tour. <laughs> <laughs> they, like, thought, they thought you were like a Borat stunt double. <laughs> like, they didn't know what was going on. Bro, because I was, so, I didn't, I didn't want to be late, because I didn't want to fuck up your experience. So I was like, yo, if, if I'm late, then they won't let both of us in. So I was like running down Pennsylvania, and they're like, finally, I was like, no, nah, I'm with Matt Wright. They're like, oh, you're with Matt Wright? I'll come this way. And then, uh, <laughs> and so uh, we go in, and I was like, and I was initially really like, Anxious because I'm like, fuck, is he, is he really going to wear the, Matt, uh, the, the, the Colin Kaepernick jersey? Because, like, again, these are things minorities think about. You got to think about your environment at all times. Like, these are things like, bro, like, I've been... But I had a hoodie on. I was respectful. Yeah, you, you, he wore, like, he had, like, a little jacket, uh, jacket on. So I was like, oh, right. He's, he was just bullshitting. So we're, <laughs> we're doing the tour. We're, in, like, in the Abraham Lincoln's uh, living room. Like, we were, like, on a romantic date together. Yeah. <laughs> we're like, yo, like, you think Abraham Lincoln was fucking on that chair? Oh, absolutely. He sat at that table and was like, do I, do I, do I, for your mind? Yeah. Straight up. Straight up, do it, right? And so we're walking. You got to understand, when you're going on a tour in the White House in, like, 2017, 2018, the only people who are on a tour are people from, like, Kentucky, right? Bro, it was so white. Yeah, that joint <laughs> was like, it It's was never been like... a whiter house, ever. Yeah. <laughs> It was, yeah, and Matt fit in pretty well, but I was like, I don't know about this, you know what I mean? And um, 
so we're continuing to walk, and as we're going to like the third room, Matt just turns to me. He's like, yo, it's time. I go, what? And he takes off his jacket, and he's wearing the Kaepernick jersey. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, this is like peak Donald Trump. This Bo! Is hey. Bo! We in there. Yo, photo credit at Martin. <laughs> we Camera took a emoji. knee in that bitch. <laughs> we took a knee. Because you got to use your white privilege. You Man. got to. You have to. That's how you do it. Man. Man, they were, so, all the white people were so mad. Uh, but it was great because all the black people who worked there were like, <laughs> you're not going to say anything? Yeah. I see nothing. I see absolutely nothing. So now it gets VIP access at the White House and the Black American, African American <laughs> Museum. <laughs> Good for you, man. Thanks, man. It was a fun time. Yeah. So that's that story. Yeah, now we, uh, we got how many more shows? We got a show tomorrow, mm -hmm. and then we're going to try to do two shows Saturday. So if Every show has been selling out. Yeah, so if y'all if y'all have any friends or family who live in the area who think they need a good night out and some laughs or whatever, send them our way. Tell them Yeah, tell what them do, you, do you guys us. think Matt Rife should shoot his comedy special in D.C.? Yeah. Maybe Half the crowd. Some of y'all like, take that shit to Kentucky, <laughs> white boy. Take Yo. that shit to Louisville. Well, listen, like, you, you know you got, the, you got the access. Anytime you want to shoot something, you got the, you know, the Persian rug, the Christmas lights. Right. You get the full Martinini package, the experience. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, like, I this appreciate it. I don't, I, don't, I don't, like, fuck with a lot of com Like, comedians, like, are very hard to befriend. Like, you can be cool or acquaintances, but, like, comedians are very, like... Uh, Egotistical? Com como se dice. Como se dice. They be, like, extra. Very right. extra. There's like competitiveness that you it's like, it's so it's it's like selfishly ego driven where it's almost like most comics are like if I were so so I because of Martin doing these shows in L.A. he was he started doing these in his dad's backyard and I was in, in, in L.A. Maryland, in Gaithersburg yeah in Gaithersburg how yeah, far Gaithersburg, is that from here 30, 30, 40 minutes yeah forty minutes y'all been to my backyard shows yeah, yeah. see hey, so here. so I live in L.A. and the shit is illegal out there as well so. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fucking crazy, because Oregon just said all the drugs are cool. Right. Um, so uh, I saw Martin put on his shows, and Martin fucking hustles, man. I was like, you know what? There's no reason why people aren't doing outside shows in L.A. So I started putting on the only outdoor show in L.A. And the sh it's been fucking crazy. We get Bill Burr in there, fucking wow. Chris Red, Tom Segura, all these, Eliza Schlesinger. Like, I get like my uncle fun. to perform yeah. sometimes. <laughs> He even got the ice cream truck. We even my dad's in the living room watching CSI. <laughs> Meanwhile, my, my my peer in LA is like, yeah, I got the most famous people to do my show. Who's doing your show? I'm like, well, I got like my uncle pulling up, you know. He all right, he got some jokes too. <laughs> yeah, but like Segura can't barbecue, you know what I mean? That's fine. But I saw him putting on his shows, and it was it was so inspiring because I know how hard he works. That I was like, you know, I, I I definitely I should be I should be working as hard on the West Coast. And since then, we've helped feed our shows. He's calling me, be like, what are you doing in your shows? What are you doing in your shows? Giving each other advice and pushing each other. And I'm like, anytime you're on the West Coast, come to the show, and vice versa. He invited me out here. And most comics aren't like that. Most comics would like see Martin winning and be like, man, fuck, I'm gonna put on a show on the upstairs. You know what right, I mean? Like right, they right, they would right. try to shut your they would try to shut your shit down. That's, it's true. so. All about like no, I have to win because I can be the only funny person, which is fucking crazy. So I mean, it's, it's true. Thank, it's thankful that we've become friends. Yeah, man. All this. I don't. Martin have... didn't want to like me when we first met. Nah, that's straight up. Well, it's not just you know. I just don't fuck with a lot of white people. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know, I, 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 one thing about Matt though, he's very, he's a very genuine person, and he's a very caring person, and he's got like, uh, what do you call it? Like, he's funny, but, like, I like, like, I'm the type of dude, like, I gotta fuck with you as a person, right? Like, and so, like, man, you're a bitch ass. <laughs> but, no, nah, that's, that's my big thing, like, I gotta really fuck with you to, like, uh, to, like, invite you, you know what I mean? Because, literally, low-key, this is, like, like, my fucking, this is, like, my house. You know what I mean? Like, we, you know, I feel like this is where, you know, we have tea and shit, and, um, and this, but, is, this is the coolest Goodwill I've ever performed in. Nah. <laughs> Cause they know they be selling everything. This this table got three legs. Y'all see that shit? So what y'all need? We got hey lamps, man, stop stereos. Making, hey man, stop making fun of my product. You can't shoot your special here no more. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Where will I ever find an alley? <laughs> 
No, I would love to come back and shoot some, here, some shit here, man. Yeah, man. It'd be fun. Do all but my school shooting. Keep bits. supporting Matt Rife. <laughs> Just fucking. Y'all were cool about it, man. They were not fucking with it in Mississippi at all. Y'all were great, man. For real? So please continue to support yeah. Martin shows. Thank you, guys. Uh, hit us both up on um, on uh, social media. On social media. All my social media. If if you enjoy the show, is just just Matt Rife. M A T T R I F E. If you like me, hit me up on there. If you didn't like me, my name is Pete Davidson. <laughs> and you know this is the best my show's ever gonna get. So hell yeah, um, man. But support and, uh, overachievers and Martin Amin. Thank you, man. Yeah, man. Appreciate you guys. You guys have been rocking with us. I'm filming my special here in uh, two weeks. So if you guys are interested, come check out doing all new material. Follow me on Instagram to stay in touch. I'm going to post it on Instagram and Twitter. And uh, yeah, so you saw some of the stuff tonight, but I'm working on another 30 minutes. So if you guys want to check it out, hit me up. I'll see you guys soon. All right, get home safe, guys. God bless you all. Have a good night. Thank you.